Hey now, what's going on everybody? My name is Mike Brown, aka Review King MB, and I just got done watching for the second time, The Happening. The Happening is a 2008 film that of course is written, produced, and directed by M. Night Shyamalan. <laughs> this film is a whole lot funnier <laughs> and worse than I could remember. Man, oh man, the plot. The plot is we see that for some reason people in the city are just killing themselves. Like no one's really acting rationally here. People think that it's a terrorist attack or it's some virus that's making people do this. We follow Mark Wahlberg <laughs> and his wife played by Zoe Deschanel. Uh, them along with John Linguizamo and his daughter. They're all trying to get out of the city trying to get to safety and along the way you find out that it's not a virus per se It's the plants the Toxin the flowers are doing this to people M Knight has gone to a whole new level of dumb shit <laughs> seriously I know that they promoted this movie hard. I remember at the time, 10 years ago now, seeing the trailer, seeing them saying, this is M. Night Shyamalan's first rated R movie. Ooh, what's he going to do with an R rating? And to be honest, let's get this out of the way. The R rating isn't really shit. Sure, there are some extra blood scenes. Sure, there's like one scene where a kid gets shot and yeah, yeah, sure, fine. You wouldn't have had that. But I think for the most part, he still cuts away at a lot of the money shot. It, it's just, it was a waste. I say, especially with this material and what we ended up getting, he should have went full blood, gore, guts, just gone all out with it. The acting. Mark Wahlberg, who I think that there are some movies where he's really good in them, and, the, and then there's other movies where he's not so good. But this is the worst performance I have ever seen from Mark Wahlberg in my life. He is playing a science teacher, which is laughable in and of itself. Can you really buy Mark Wahlberg as a science teacher? The scenes where he's talking to the kids and saying, Hey guys, can you believe this? Uh, this happens with plants and this happens with that. Wow, isn't that fascinating? It's like, it's like, dude, just be normal. Why is his voice at such a high register throughout this whole movie he talks in that very high pitch he comes off as such a dweeb as such a dork uh when you get to the point where you find out zoe deschanel was cheating on him or i guess she just went out on one date with a guy still though it's like you can't blame her <laughs> of course she's gonna lose interest in this guy there's one scene where he's freaking out because everyone in the group is hearing gunshots and he, his freak out is not only hilarious, him needing a second. Please tell us what to do. I need a second, okay? Why can't anybody give me a goddamn second? But the way how M. Night shoots these scenes with these extreme close-ups and these awkward angles, how did he not think, M. Night I'm talking about, how did he not think this was going to come off silly and goofy? This is unintentionally the best comedy I've ever seen. It's hilarious. I sat here laughing at so many scenes that clearly are played up to be scary, that are played up for tension. M. Night has regressed so much as a director when it comes to this movie in this point in his career. Uh, you'd think he'd have something more to prove. He would want to bounce back from a movie like Lady in the Water, but I swear he went backwards. He regressed. At least there's no cameo with him. On screen, he actually does play the voice of Joey, the guy that keeps calling Zoe Deschanel on her phone over and over again. Can't leave her alone. Let's talk about Zoe Deschanel, who I think is horrible in this movie. Not just because her character is unlikable, she was messing around behind Wahlberg's back, or she talks to some guy fine, whatever, but the fact that that's supposed to be the most interesting thing about her in a crisis where everybody is killing themselves, in a crisis where half of the population is, 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 is getting extinct, that's her most interesting trait, that she doesn't want to settle down, that she didn't want to get married, and that she isn't as in love with him as he is with her. 
that's what I'm supposed to attach myself to, to a character that then I'm supposed to care whether or not she lives or dies. The logic behind that. And also, her performance is, is very awkward. She's very big-eyed, wide-eyed. I mean, maybe she's like that in general, but it, it just came off as very silly and goofy. John Leguizamo probably should have been the main character. He's the best actor in the movie. Uh, the few scenes that he does have, I instantly connected to the guy and, and cared about him and wanted to see him find his wife for his daughter. But of course, they kill him off so goddamn early in the lamest way ever that you just throw your hands up and say, well, of course this is the direction that the movie is taking. We have to, before I go, because <laughs> there's so much to talk about with this film, right? How can I not talk about Mrs. Jones? The old lady that they end up running into at the house and she's just weird all by herself. She is paranoid. She doesn't trust them. There's one scene where they're they're talking to each other in the room and they hear a creaking. He goes into the hallway. This exchange between Mark Wahlberg and this old lady will go down in cinema history as one of the greatest unintentional funny scenes I've ever seen. What? No. I have rewatched this scene on YouTube just over and over again just because I cannot believe that this is the take that not only M. Night was okay with, but Mark Wahlberg. He should have said, whoa, let me do that shit again. That came off too dumb and too silly. But of course, it's in the movie. Of course, they're proud of this shit fest. What else? The reveal, I haven't really talked about this all that much, but the reveal, because they have so many... Uh, theories right that the terrorists have done this that there's a virus that there's all of this thing and that's a lot more interesting than what we get because when you find out that it's the plants and it's not even a huge reveal they just kind of drop that out there halfway through the one of the people that they run into just says it like oh it's probably the plants because they give off toxins and they do this and that and then over the course of the film mark Wahlberg goes well well, what if it is the plants? It, it very well could be because of this equation and that equation. That's what we're talking about here. But not just a, a, as, as dumb as it is. It feels like M. Night read an article about how plants are, could have the ability to slowly turn on humans and, and he just wrote a film out of it. But the scene where Mark Wahlberg, Zoe Deschanel, and this little girl are running from the wind. In fact, there's a bunch of people that you see running away from the wind because of the potential pollen that's being blown in their direction. It's so silly. It's so dumb. I laughed so hard. <laughs> oh no, it's the wind. Ah! Like it's, it's seriously, how did any producer not look at this and say, holy fuck, what are we putting our money into? Ah, this baffles me. This is one of the weirdest and craziest films I have ever seen. Man. <laughs> it's amazing that M. Night, that, that there was even a chance that this guy could bounce back after making a movie like this. So guys... Let me know in the comments below what you think of The Happening. Do you hate it and think it's one of the worst films ever? Or are you like me to where, yeah, it's horrible, it's bad, but it's almost so goddamn funny that it almost makes it good. <laughs> but in the bad way, for sure. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Later! Later!